Morning everyone. Here's an interesting problem I'm having inside of Woz. Way too much condensation on this roof window. You can see around the plastic surround drops of water all the way around. I've actually taken the blind down, hence those holes there and there. Because not only is this bloody annoying, and it is condensation, at least I'm about 90% sure it's condensation. There are huge drops of water there, really big drops, that form on this flat piece of glass. And because the van's currently tilting over, tilting backwards slightly, it tends to run across the glass, track into the rubber seal here. Run over the edge. In fact, if I put my finger there, you might even see here, I can let capillary action. I've got a, a bowl below it. And over time, this van's been parked here now since when did we last go out now? October last year. Uh, that's last year. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the 2nd of January today. October last year was the last time we went out, the end of October. So it's been parked here for about two months without being used. You'll notice this plastic frame here, there's a gap between it and the insulation in the ceiling of the van. So the plastic itself gets cold, it's not um, aided by being in direct contact. So one of the things I probably must do is fill this gap along here, which may help reduce the amount of condensation forming on this piece of plastic, but this plastic goes to the outside of the vehicle so it's going to be a cold bridge even though it's not made of metal. I've been keeping an eye on this ever since um, I noticed it and you'll see there, or you probably can just see, there's a little bit of white um, plastic uh, foam seal there. I initially thought that maybe the, the window's leaking past the seal and uh, I put a bit of um, foam gasket there just to make sure it's not but it's I'm pretty sure this is condensation from inside the vehicle as I say the vehicle's currently tipping backwards so any water up here in theory would run would via capillary action run around this bead and go to the back so this is definitely condensation that's formed in this piece of plastic and that creates an added problem this piece of trim here whoever designed this this window didn't give it a lot of thought. This piece of trim fits on the inside like that. The water runs down, as you can see as it is now, the water runs down, gets behind the trim and clicks in this trim and you can see there's a lip in the trim so you get quite a puddle forming in this trim um, and then eventually it overflows and it then drips into the blind and the entire blind he says, put it away. the entire blind then fills up with water as well. And when I moved this van a couple of days ago, I just moved it further back on my drive, I probably had half a pint of water that actually came out of all this plastic and then I ended up on the floor. And I've actually had to take um, my um, piece of uh, uh, whatever this foam's called up because it had actually got on in through the gap there and it actually got on the floor. So I'm just drying things up. And I've got this um, bowl here just to collect these drips. But I've got to think of doing something about this. I so said I can insulate a bit around there just to help reduce condensation on that. But the tricky problem is this piece of glass is flat. It needs some sort of, ideally I need another pane of glass in it. But as you can see, the handles and everything else, they're going to make actually adding a bit of secondary glazing to this glass near impossible. Maybe I can do something on the outside. Maybe I could put a dome on or something, I don't know. I think what I'm going to have to do is build the framework down a bit so that I've got something I can work with around here and maybe build um, something removable, either a second piece of secondary glazing and probably even add some insulation. But this is a pain in the neck. <laughs> An absolute pain in the neck. Um, especially the way they've designed this so that it's all back to front and any water gets trapped behind the frame. The other thing, maybe, if it wasn't for the fact this is curved, if this was a square shape, I could almost put a gutter inside here and bring a small tube down to collect it. Hmm. Anyway, one of the features of um, 
a single glazed skylight and it's damned annoying and it's been bugging me and I'm left to do something about it. I've just popped the window open. One of the, one of the things that again I originally thought about was was water getting in when it's raining. But the edge of the glass on this has a rubber seal bonded to it. That rubber seal has a skirt and that skirt drops maybe half an inch below the seal. It would take a very strange amount of water to do, hit the van roof, bounce up underneath that skirt and make its way over the top of the seal. And at the same time, when I put my finger inside that skirt, it's bone dry. In fact, yeah, the seat is dirt. It's bone dry. Ah, I've just been dripped on now by bits of water. So I'm pretty certain that my problems are purely condensation. So I need to deal with it from an insulation point of view. Hi everyone, it's um, Thursday the 7th of January. I'm about to fit a bit of um, double, secondary double glazing to my window up there. I've sealed this lower frame with a bit of sealant. You'll notice there's um, frost on it. It's currently minus one in here. And here's a good example of why these modular ambulances aren't as well insulated as you might think. There's an aluminium beam across there, it's hollow. And you can see that line of frost goes all the way across the van. That's part of the reinforcement, the rollover reinforcement. And then here, where this um, camera is, again you can see a line of frost there. There's a cable duct along there and I insulated that area a bit but I couldn't get any along this piece and that's a good example of um, just in this particular van this is reasonably well insulated this van compared to some I've worked on but there's definitely room for another 25 mil of PIR on this ceiling and on these walls if I ever gut this van and do it again I've got the heater on because I want to defrost this skylight and dry out the frame and then later on I'm going to be fitting this thing which I've made up which is a bit of plastic that came out of the crafter and a sheet of um, two millimeter plastic glaze material because I want to actually prove to myself whether I'm getting water coming in through the skylight from a leak or it's condensation so by putting a um, effectively a bit of secondary glazing in <coughs> where the water forms <laughs> will tell me where the water's coming from what we can now see is the drops of condensation big old drops melting you can actually see them moving across the glass this is below the glass and the drops get so large they then fall and this is pretty much what I think has been happening and then it, as I said it was running down into that plastic trim pooling in there until there was quite a lot of water and then find its way into the blind but with the heater on, the noise of the heater in the background you can see just how much water has formed on this glass in one day and yesterday there wasn't any condensation in here at all this is purely as a result of being overnight and this is after I've had my dehumidifier running here for several days, or several hours rather, earlier this week. This is just the moisture in the air that the van picked up from being driven yesterday when I went to take it for the MOT. There's nobody been in the van, it's purely moisture that's inside the vehicle, when it's all condensed in this glass. We haven't had any rain overnight, but these droplets are now growing bigger and bigger and bigger. And they are all dropping on this towel. So I'm now pretty satisfied that the problem I've got in here is condensation on this glass. So in theory this little bit of secondary glazing should improve it a bit. If it doesn't improve it significantly what it should do is focus the droplets of water in that smaller area and hence I may get less in the blind. Good afternoon. Thought I'd wrap this video up. Um, I've got my uh, bit of secondary glazing installed. 
In a previous bit of footage, I managed to film the droplets forming on this uh, piece of glass and dropping onto the floor. Giving it a bit of thought, it's probably down to the fact the piece of glass is completely flat. Most motorhomes and most roof vents are curved and they also um, pretty much go beyond the outside of the framework of the, uh, the actual housing itself. So any water droplets forming on the inside of the plastic or glass, in theory, are going to drain down the sides. They won't accumulate in such large quantities because they'll begin to run as droplets before they get too big. And they will drip down to the outside of the plastic. Not necessarily to the outside world, because obviously the things are sealed, but they're going to pull somewhere other than on my floor. Maybe, don't know. But anyway, I'll just give you a quick overview of what I've done. What we've got now is a sheet of 2mm acrylic held in by magnetic tape. And I put this on the underside of this just to make it easy to take off. But also because in theory if we get water pooling on this plastic it's going to be below that lip there of the um, the uh, piece of the uh, UPVC I've used to make the actual frame for it. And in theory it's not going to get behind here. It's going to stay pooling here. I can take this magnetic piece down and in theory I can control the water a bit better, the droplets. I'm hoping that this secondary glazing will prevent the amount of water that was accumulating on that piece of glass. It should make a difference, but the main goal is to stop water condensation running down and getting behind this blind because it was filling up the blind. It was actually um, getting it, not so much this blind, this one's okay, but when it was getting behind this one, it was becoming a real problem. Um, eventually it's going to cause some damage or it's going to rot the strings or rust the springs or do something. So hopefully this sheet of secondary glazing will just provide that little bit of insulation and any water that's formed on the inside of it, which I, I'm hoping there won't be that much of now, will accumulate on top of this plastic. But the main condensation is going to form here. And if it forms here, obviously, as you can see, it's still going to get down behind these blinds to a degree. It could potentially drip. So I've, actually, I've actually cut and shaped this so that it is actually smaller. And in theory, it's going to drip off the edge. But we'll just have to wait and see. But that's about as much as I can do. I think, as I mentioned, I can't insulate above this piece of um, secondary glazing because the handles are in the way. What I probably can do is I've got enough room here, about 5 mil, I think. I can pack insulation in around these edges and I can probably put a piece of insulation in there but obviously that blocks the light out so it's okay in the, in, the, uh, in the evenings in the dark but not brilliant during the day but it's just a downside of having a big flat piece of glass I think um, you know water drop is conforming especially when the vehicle is completely level anyway one last thing I've kept the magnetic strip you'll see there's a gap there the idea of that is I can get my finger underneath it, or Karen can get her fingernails underneath it, and I can get, there it comes, down like that. Without somewhere, just on the edge there, just to get a fingernail under, it would be a bit trickier. But I can take it down, and then obviously we can open the window, um, as normal. But there's a bit of condensation forming on that now, but it's nothing as much. You can actually see where the condensation, it was frozen earlier on, you can actually see on that rubber trim there, where there was some condensation forming. But uh, hopefully this single sheet of plastic will make all the difference. It certainly works on these windows here. These are, um, these are just pieces of plastic. You can see they're just screwed on there. We never ever get condensation on the inside of this plastic at all. Well, not in any significant... You do get a little bit. Um, but it's, it's a lot better. Anyway, there you go. It's just an idea. Might work, might not. But yeah, it's worth trying to do something. Thanks for watching. For the time being... If you've got a window like this, <laughs> stick a bowl under it and a towel on the floor. Ta-ta. Oh, and Happy New Year.